Hey guys, my name is Charlie and welcome back to my channel, Extra Servings Please. Well, this is a brand new YouTube channel and this is my second video. Um, so in my last video, I you know I showed you guys the like customization of my penny board, but this time it's gonna be a little bit more different. This is more more of a legit video. All right. So a few days ago, I got this really big box, and inside there are two pairs of shoes that I got online, and they were really really cheap. Yeah. So. But then, like, the color that it came in, they weren't the ones that I really wanted. In fact, I feel like they were pretty ugly. And I didn't want to spend, like, an extra $30 on the same pairs of shoes, but, like, set with different colors. I'm just like, you know, why not just customize it, right? Easy. So, yeah. So, I'm going to show you guys the process of everything. And, yeah, let's get this started. Alright guys, as you can see, this is the pair of shoes that I got and um, the color is, you know, black and gold but honestly, I don't feel like it's gold I, I think it's leaning more towards a bronze tint and that's what I don't like about it you know, if it was gold, if it was, if it was like really really gold then I don't think I would customize this pair of shoes at all yeah, so as you can see, there are stripes on the side um, it, just, it runs from the bottom to the top and it's kind of weird, to be honest. Alright, so for this project, this customization, I'll be using Rustolian spray paints. These are the spray paints that I use for my penny board. My current, so as you can see, my current basketball shoe is pretty worn out. <laughs> There's a hole, two holes at the bottom of it. And since I don't have the Angelus paints with me, uh, they take a few days to arrive. So, so, and because they take a few days to arrive, I'm going to just use these. Uh, spray paint and see how it works, you know? Since they bond on wood, metal, and plastic, technically they should bond on shoes as well. Alright, so right now I'm taping the side of the shoe because I want to leave a strip of golden, bronze, color, whatever you call it. And yeah, I need to cut out the portion that I do not want to get the paint on. Honestly, for this, like, this procedure alone took me 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, fast move. So I switched to another blade because the previous one wasn't sharp enough. Um, so right now uh, I've uh, taped the entire shoe and I left out the only the area that I want to paint on. And I'm just making sure that all the edges are nicely taped and tucked in. So this is the other side. 
Uh, I think this is the right, the right shoe. Yeah, so now both shoes, they're all taped up, only leaving the area that I want to paint on. Alright, so I'm using nail polish remover to not remove nail polish on my nails, but uh, to get rid of this um, layer of gloss on the pair of shoes. That way it will allow the paint to easily uh, bond with the shoe. I took a pair of shoes outside, obviously, I don't want to suffocate myself inside. Um, yeah, so I'm starting off with a layer of white paint, just to get things started. This way, it will, it's, you know, the white paint acts as a brand new fresh canvas. For half an hour, uh, I took the shoes inside and I need to dry off a little bit more before I start the next layer of paint. Uh, yikes. Um, yeah, the tape is starting to come off. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use uh, pink, light blue, and navy. Uh, I think I want something flashy, something more of a abstract galaxy kind of vibe to it. So the cap is a little bit screwed up. It, you can still spray paint it uh, normally, but if I press it lightly, uh, larger droplets of paint will just like splatter out. And I think I'm going to use this as part of design.
Alright, this step is high key extra, but might as well design the box as well, like make it a complete set. Uh, yeah, I'm using the masking tape again. Um, I'm going to leave the Nike sign and the swoosh white while I paint over the orange reddish color. Attention to detail, detail oriented. Gotta make sure everything lines up. Oh man. Alright, I peeled off the excess. Now, time to spray paint again. I'm going to use the same colors uh, for this um, box just to you know make it the same scheme, the same color scheme. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoy the content. I hope you like my customization. And if you do, feel free to like and subscribe because I'll be posting more videos over the summer. I am aiming to post one video every single week with different customization and they're not limited to only shoots. I'm planning to customize, you know, clothing, probably like a denim jacket, hats, whatever, uh, and probably shoes again and a lot of other things. So yeah. Hope you guys look forward to it and I'll see you in the next video.